Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the target values Excel file, and I'll show you how to make a quick demonstration or illustration of this data here. If I simply go ahead and insert a graph based on this information here, you'll notice that it doesn't look very right. There are a lot of issues with this graph here. The main part is that the totals is included, and the pie chart, of course, here is mostly used to illustrate proportions between different types of information. So what you really want is to go ahead and edit this so you don't want all of it included. Just this, not the percentages and um, not the total. So this gives you a much better uh, way of working with it. Then you can, of course, have your graph included in the same sheet like this or you can also move the chart it's very useful to be able to do if you click on the move chart here you can move it to a new sheet and that makes it more visible then each and every object in your excel chart here is configurable so if you want these to be larger you can definitely do that by just using the regular tools like that that makes it much more readable of course what i generally do if I'm in a rush, then I go into the quick layout and just select one of these ready-made layouts. And usually they are very useful. Uh, as you see, the percentage signs are extremely small. And I can, of course, select all of these. Or I can click again and I select one of them. So it's very important to know which object you're actually working with at this time. So I'm going to make these larger and maybe put them in red or something like that. That makes it stand out a bit more so that's what i usually do i work with the quick layouts if I, I do a bit more work specifics that i want to point out these are also very useful the finished designs and uh, where you can go in and test around with these things and remember you always have the undo so it's rather safe to play around with different layouts if you don't like it then simply undo and you're back to the original again or the previous one at least uh, the format tab is also very useful you can select any object so if you make sure that you have the right selection here so now i'm selecting this data series the cost um, of the facilities and notice that you have the same tools that you do drawings or anything like that so you can have shape fills you can have pictures for example there and i'm going to work offline and just put a picture in there and there you notice that i now put a picture as a background of that particular piece of the pie chart. So that might be an interesting way of doing things. Well, that concludes my quick demo on charts using the target values sample. Thank you for watching.